and staying with cycling or ultra cycling to be precise, meaning long distance bike races that are hundreds or even thousands of kilometers long. Running, in, running races in all kinds of terrain across the world, Biking Man is known as the ultimate endurance challenge for long-distance cyclists. This year's series consists of six races, including in, lo in locations including Oman, Corsica and Laos. The most recent was a 1,650-kilometer course through the Andes in Peru which had to be completed in a maximum of 10 days. Now, to talk more about the event, I'm joined on set by the founder of Biking Man, Axel Garion. Thank you for being with us tonight, Axel. Biking Man has been called one of the toughest challenge, toughest cycling events in the world. What exactly makes it so difficult, in your opinion? Well, uh, we're talking here about Peru. That's the crown jewel of the Biking Man series. And basically, that's the highest and supported cycling race on Earth. Uh, with the high altitude fa factor where you need to handle everything on your own. And so far, it's called the Everest of cycling as well because you have to endure and uh, manage super high altitude cycling in one of the most remote terrain on earth, which is Peru. And one of the things that makes this race so tough is the fact that it's, un it's unassisted. Could you tell us a bit more about that, what exactly that means? So basically unassisted, unsupported means you need to ride on your own. We've seen some images of... Uh, the Tour de France cycling just right before uh, my interview, where they are followed by cars. Uh, during the biking man, you need to handle everything on your own, water, food, hotels, and repair from point A to point B and reach the finish line as fast as possible on a single stage event. So that turned the cycling experience as a survival experience, so to speak, where you need to handle everything on your own. And that's playing a big game and it's a game changer compared to uh, like normal cycling. And why exactly did you choose to have this uh, unassisted rule? Is there any particular reason behind it? Well, I spent 250 days uh, across the Andes, so I know pretty well the terrain. I've crossed twice South America on a bike, and that was for me the toughest conditions that I've seen, and I've cycled more than 50 countries. And I wanted to share that experience, um, and I think unassisted means... Um, and it's responding and answering to a need that people have so far today uh, about adventure and being against the elements, solo or as a pair. And that's fitting a need, I think, in the market right now of people that are willing to you know, challenge themselves on the toughest terrain on earth and having a genuine adven adventure. Certainly not a cycling race for the faint-hearted. So thank you very much for being with us, Axel.